In this video, we will look at installing and configuring the DHCP server role in Windows 2016. We will also create a basic scope for issuing out IP addresses to clients. So I want to start this video with a word of caution. Make sure if you're following my creating an Active Directory lab in the Hyper-V series, that you go ahead and shut off all of the switches besides the private switch that just allows the VMs to communicate with each other. This way, as we create and initiate DHCP, we're not putting a rogue DHCP server out on another network. That would not be good. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and configure DHCP on our first server, which is DC0001. So what I do is I come up here and I choose Manage, Add Roles and Features, Next. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a role-based feature to this server. Now, for this demonstration, we're just going to do the one server. Okay. So we need to select a server. I'm going to select this server right there, DC0001, and choose Next. And the reason we're going to do this is in subsequent videos, we'll go ahead and create some redundancy in DHCP versus, say, doing a super scope uh, between two DCs. So we'll go ahead and choose DHCP from our list here, and we'll add the features. Choose Next. It's going to want the .NET. Yes, Next. We'll click Restart just in case it needs a restart and install. Now, this is just installing the role. We still need to go in and configure the particular DHCP services that we want our server to issue out to clients. So I'll go ahead and pause while it does this. So it's gone ahead and installed the role successfully. So we'll come over and close this. And my machine's doing an update, so I'll hold while it does that. And now we're ready to configure. So we'll come up here. And if you notice, we need to complete the DHCP configuration. We'll go ahead and choose Next. Um, use the following user credentials. So we can use Corp Admin, or we can give an alternate. We'll commit that. It's going to go ahead and create the security groups and we'll say close. So if you notice, now we have the DHCP service here, okay? Now, some folks, by the way, in there like to create a service admin account and use that for the Windows services that are running on the machine. Now that we have DHCP installed, let's go ahead and configure our first scope. So what I'll do is I'll come up here to Tools. I'll find the DHCP MMC. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over here just so we have a little room widen that and as you can see here is the DHCP service on DC0001 I'm gonna expand this and expand IPv4 we're gonna just do an IPv4 scope so what I'll do is I'll right click here and I'll choose new scope and it brings up the new scope wizard I'm gonna choose next and I'm gonna give it a name MIM uh, main actually I'm gonna say primary DHCP scope and then I will pause real quick while I put in a description. So here's what I've said. I've said main DHCP scope for the corp.miim.com domain. Now, I'm huge about doing documentation. When there's a description field, fill it in. If you've ever had to work on an Active Directory where the previous network administrator didn't document, you'll soon know what I'm talking about. Documentation is key. So we'll go ahead and click Next. Now this is going to be the IP range that I want DHCP to give out. Now I'm going to put in a big range here. I think I'll go with 100 and 172, let's go back there, 172.16.0.254. Now this gives me a large range and of course our CIDR was 21. So I'll change that to 21, 255, 255, 248 and I'll choose next. 
Now, these are exclusions, so although I have a large DHCP range, I'm not going to use it all. So, for example, I'll go ahead and do two exclusions, one So I'm going to do an exclusion for the range 100 through 104, and then I'll come in and do another exclusion. Excluding the majority of the range. So if you notice here, basically our DHCP server is going to give out 105 through 109. Now the reason I did that is because in our test lab here we don't need much DHCP. So I'll say next, next. I do want to configure what DHCP is going to give out so I'll say next. This is going to be my router gateway 172.16.0.1 and I'll say add and next. There's our parent domain, and these are the DNS servers. So I should just be able to simply come in here and go MIIM SVR DC 0001 win 2016 DC. Resolve that, and it should get the IP, which it did. It's already there. I will go ahead and do two. Resolve two. This might take a second longer. <laughs> It resolves right away to 11, so there is my DNS servers that it's putting in there. So I'll then choose Next. Now, by the way, this is where, if you wanted to, you could also put in an external, um, like an 8.8.8, .8, which is um, Google's DNS. Let's go ahead and just say Next. Win server, if we needed wins, we could put it in. I'll just do the MIIM. SVR DC 0001 win 2016 DC. We'll resolve that real quick. We'll add that. We'll come back over here. We'll do two. We'll resolve that and add that. So now we have wins, although our force functional level is 2016. So do I want to activate the scope? Yes, I do want to activate the scope and I say finish. Now, something that uh, some folks find useful is to actually start and stop the scope. Sorry, not the scope, but actually the service. So if I come up here to my DHCP server, all tasks, and stop, it'll go ahead and stop the DHCP service. And then I can just right click, all tasks, and start it again. So at this point, once it starts back up and we see that it's running, we'll click here. There's our scope. Let's click into our scope. We can look at the address pool for our scope. So if you notice, it's 100 through 254, and I've done the exclusions 100 through 104, 110 through 254. This will make sense in a minute. Notice we don't have any leases yet. So at this point, let's go ahead and we will go over to our Windows 10 machine, which is right here. I'm gonna come down here and choose Network. We're gonna go into the Network and Sharing Center. I'm going to come to change adapter settings. Now, if you remember, we gave this adapter a static IP. So if I double click on it and go to properties, quickly go out to IPv4 and properties, we'll see that we have the static IP. Now you're going to see why I didn't start with 100. We had already given this machine 100. So I'm going to go ahead and say obtain DNS. I'll say OK and close this out. And I'll go ahead and close this. And if you notice, it's identifying. So what I'll do is I'll come down here just real quick and I'll go to the command prompt. And I'll run the command prompt as administrator here real quick. There's our command prompt. I'll type IP config. Oops. IP config dash all. And if you notice here, we now have a new IP of 172.16.105. That was the starting IP address scheme or scope that we gave it. Here's our DNS servers. 
Here's our win servers, so everything is functioning well. There's your DHCP. Take care. Thank you.